channel my name is Rachel if you're new here I have a disability and I'm just a normal teenage girl living my life with that disability and a service dog and that is what I make videos about so if it interests you you know the drill just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and it has been brought to my attention via the YouTube studio app that a lot of you frequent watchers aren't actually subscribed so if you're a frequent watcher and you haven't subscribed already what are you doing <laughs> so please subscribe if you're new or if you watch frequently and you aren't subscribed as I said it would help me out because I definitely want to reach 400 subscribers by the end of 2021 the beginning of 2021 we hit 300 so 400 is our goal by the end of the year and I think my service dog in training Sammy would greatly appreciate if you went ahead and did that as well so in today's video we are going to be going over everything you need to know if you're going to Disney and you have a disability I can only speak for the way things work in either the California Disneyland or the Walt Disney World I've never been to the California Disneyland but I'm pretty sure they're like disability rights and how they handle things is the exact same however like I said I don't know about Disneyland Paris etc etc so first thing you need to do before you go to Disney World if you have a disability you need to think about is there any medical equipment that you need to have at some point throughout the day that you don't want to be like carrying around with you constantly though because if there is then you need to know that Disney has these little like rest kind of me blah, 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 medical room areas so what you can do is you can go there and kind of drop off your medical equipment that you know you're going to need at some point but also don't want to be carrying around with you the whole time so also one of the most important things come prepared with your pain management equipment whether that be something you need to keep in a medical area that Disney has like I say or just like any sort of pain creams or anything like that just in case you have a pain flare up and you you know don't want to be dealing with that at Disney World so Jen from Wheels No Heels shared this point in her video she recently did about this please please I'm begging you do the more thrill seeking rides at the beginning of the day you will thank me because you need to be able to enjoy when you do the roller coasters or enjoy when you do your favorites and stuff and like if you wait at the end of the day then you're more apt to have a pain flare or a medical episode etc etc or you could flip it the other way around if you're not a person like me who knows okay I'm more apt to be in pain at night then you whenever that pain time is for you per se you can work your daily schedule around that and that will be great for you 
next tip, Rooney, I have here. Please get the DAS Pass. This is the Disability Access Pass. It is not the same as a Fast Pass where you can just go, you know, schedule your Fast Passes on the Disney app or what have you. You go when you get to the park and you go to guest relations and you basically say, hey, I have a disability, I need this pass, and someone will be happy to help you out. And what you do is you go to whatever ride you want a DAS pass for with every ride, I think. Don't quote me on it. Because that's what the Disability Access Pass is. It's for you to not have to wait in long lines. So what you do is you go to the ride and you say, I have a DAS Pass. I need to schedule a return time. And they'll know what you're talking about. Or you could say... I have a disability, etc., etc. Any of those will work and they will schedule you a return time. So that way you have some time to go get something to eat, stop by the medical rooms, or you know, just recharge, do whatever, and then you can go back to your ride. That way you also didn't have to wait in the excruciating long line of Disney World. And you don't have to go through pain flare-ups, etc, etc. And you have to have a disability to be able to get this. You know, you have to have either a physical or a invisible disability so yeah but that's the disability pass for you and as far as getting in and out of rides Disney is not like the airport in saying that what I mean is you can actually trust Disney to take your medical equipment to the end of the ride and have it safely waiting for you without it getting damaged, etc, etc. Whereas, like with airports, you don't know how rough those flight attendants are going to be. But Disney's not like that, I can assure you. So, yeah, and you just need to really plan, plan, plan take advantage of those medical rooms like i said take advantage of your disability access pass whatever it may be and i'm gonna have you guys know if you are younger and still in the journey of accepting your disability and words like disabled or handicap is disrespectful to you just know that they're gonna say the word disability a lot when they ask about your death pass Blech, excuse me death pass which I know that's not a lot of us are triggered by those words because a lot of us are used to them by now but I know some of us who are younger and maybe don't understand quite yet or haven't come to terms with it may not like it and I completely understand that. When I used to go to Disney World when I was younger, I was like that. And yes, I'm still sensitive to certain disability terms, but for the most part, not really, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that's pretty much everything Disney. Just come prepared. Know your limits. Don't push yourself because then if you end up pushing yourself and you're in more pain than you usually are because 
you didn't take breaks, etc., etc., then that will not be fun. And there is no shame in breaking up your day. As I said, it's whatever is right for you and will help you to have a fun Disney experience and get the most out of it. You do you, boo. So, with all that being said, I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you have an amazing day. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.